Hi everybody, today we're going to walk through how to bypass the ignition switch, some troubleshooting stuff, some basic stuff that uh, uh, I'm an electrical engineer but I failed to remember uh, it was too long ago and so I can save you some money hopefully and uh, show you how to do something kind of nifty. Alright, so I got this old Jeep, stopped working on me about a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I failed to troubleshoot it correctly the right way so I ended up changing the starter motor down there even though it wasn't the starter motor and I ended up frying the battery so I had to buy a new battery too. Oh well, it's a good car. I want new parts on it anyway. The thing that I should have done was come over to this relay box. You can see here the starter relay is right there. What I should have had is right here according to this box, right? What I should have done was had someone try to turn the ignition key and pull this guy and test the leads. You can find the diagram pretty easily for this relay. See there's even one right there. To see if it was even getting its uh, uh, voltage appropriately. And of course I didn't hear it click, but I heard other things click. But um, I even replaced this thing stupidly. But uh, what it was was the ignition switch I found out only after replacing the starter and the battery and replacing this all unnecessary money spent and it was just the ignition switch so we'll walk over to the ignition switch which is on the steering column all right so this is a really old jeep so it's already had some kind of post modifications see here there's a horn button battery's undone right now so you're not going to hear that but see this ignition switch here basically what happens when you turn the key a little rod a little dowel pushes a switch and sends 12 volts to the solenoid uh, via the relay that we just looked at so it sends it to the relay the relay senses the voltage it closes the relay circuit and sends uh, voltage to the solenoid which sends voltage to the starter and starts the car so this is how I bypass or the ignition switch. So the ignition switch, what I did was I pulled this stuff off here. Hopefully you can have access to this. And like I said, this horn modification, and this is where I went wrong again. Uh, it has power coming through, obviously, for the horn. It's a 12 volt horn. And so uh, I thought I could just tap into that. But what I ended up doing was whenever I close, whenever I tapped in, there's the plus and minus there. Um, it's it's uh, I ended up just closing the circuit. So <laughs> foolishly, uh, whenever I tried to steal the 12 volts here uh, and close the circuit with that relay, uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, then it would sound the horn and start the car, which is uh, something I didn't want to do. So um, basically, I got a voltmeter, and I was and I was testing where can I steal 12 volts, right? That's all I need. I need to send 12 volts to that starter, and uh, so also let's talk about the wire that goes to the starter. So here, this is a clutch. By the way, folks, you should only be driving manual cars. It makes a huge difference in your life. Um, so because it's a clutch, I know that. There's a switch that forces the uh, clutch to be depressed for the uh, current from the ignition to go through. So maybe this is kind of tricky for others who don't have manuals, but I looked it up online and there is, it's kind of hard to get back here. I'm sorry. So you can see where I've jerry-rigged already. It's kind of dark back there, but there's a, a switch. Uh, right up underneath where the clutch pedal is there and so I knew one of those one of those wires was going straight to my relay so I, I knew I just needed to get 12 volts there so what I did was I I had a jumper already for that and I just cut the jumper and I used some speaker wire to rig this up because I wanted to test my theories first, right? You should always test your theories before you uh, uh, move right into action here. And 
basically what I found out with the speaker wire was that when I spliced in this and I walked around to the the battery, it was long enough that I can go around to the battery and I just touched the positive lead, boom, car would start. Uh, huge note to all of you out there, because I bypassed the clutch, you want to make sure you're in neutral when you do that. Otherwise you're standing in front of the car and you might try to start it up and run yourself over. I almost won a Darwin Award just for doing that. Pretty stupid, eh? So this is definitely a danger for bypassing the, the clutch safety switch. Uh, if you're it, from now on the car will try to start even if it's in gear for those guys that like to off-road in their Jeeps It's something that they want which is why there's a bypass uh, Switch already a jumper back there already, but uh, it is dangerous So you need to make sure you tell the people who will be driving the car um, not to uh, Start the car while it's in gear if they don't want to <laughs> so anyway uh, I use my voltmeter and I just started testing around where I can steal 12 volts. There's obviously going to be 12 volts coming through here in that harness. But I really didn't want to dig into the harness on the steering column there. Right? There's a harness. There's definitely going to be 12 volts there. I, I found 12 volts there, but I kept closing the horn circuit. So I was searching. And uh, boom shakalaka. With my leads, I found 12 volts coming out. Of here, of course, this is the diagnostic wire, but this is a little nifty trick I did. I uh, I took the 12 volts there, I wired it. I haven't finished it yet. This is just a work in progress. And I bought this button. Excuse me. It was ten dollars off Amazon uh, on Prime, so shipped for free. I wired this button. I had some clearance back here. Had to solder a little bit, uh, hook it up, and now I basically between the 12 volts goes to the switch and then that switch comes back to where I poked in with a clutch bypass uh, in, and that basically sends the 12 volts right to that starter relay and once you do that of course here let's just demonstrate real quick so I have this here we go it's just jerry rigged up that's my positive that my batteries in And just for shits and grins, remember always make sure your car is in neutral. And oh, car's trying to start. All I gotta do is just push this button. And that's how you bypass it. So I'm just gonna wire tie some stuff off, clean it up. I'm probably just gonna poach the power straight from, from this here. Um, and just bus it and then tie it into this. This is just Jerry Rig right now. Uh, that's where my 12 volt positive is. Alright folks, well, have fun, and have fun troubleshooting, and good luck. Bye-bye.